Welcome, welcome from Munich. We are here with um, the two thinnest HP notebooks out there on the left side, the brand new Spectre 13, which will be available as a consumer and as a business product. On the right side, we have a little bit lighter and smaller, but a little bit thicker, and the Elite Book and the Folio G1. So 12.5 inches and 30.3 inches, and obviously you can see um, already that there's a little bit of a size difference, but both have a beautiful um, case made out of aluminum and obviously a, um, a nice and big um, keyboard which peels on both quite great. On the right side you have a little bit more travel than on the left and since here we have obviously a little bit thinner a little bit thinner of a case but we have uh, Bang & Olufsen sound here built in on the left and right side thanks to the um, bigger case so you have a little bit um, a nicer sound if you're watching movies um, or just maybe have a presentation in front of um, somebody and you can see on the left side we have here also the brand new HP logo on the, um, the left side and on the right side we have still the classical HP logo, but uh, more and more devices will get the new HP logo um, that you can see on the left. So we will close up both and check out a little bit the ports since both are so slim that not too many ports were um, built in. So if we close them both up and put them on top of each other, you will obviously see right away and um, again the size difference here between a 13.3 um, inch device and a 12.5 inch device. And in terms of thickness, Obviously the brand new Spectre 13 is the winner, but you can see that both are obviously quite slim and light and looking beautiful. And you can see also that we have on the uh, Spectre two Thunderbolt 3 ports and a power port here and a headset jack. You're able to see the headset jack on the um, folio on the left side and you have the two uh, Thunderbolt 3 um, ports here on the right since it's a little bit thicker on the side um, than the Spectre. Okay put them like this and again if you look at them from the outside you will see that both look quite great but you have a little bit more fingerprints obviously on the spectra thanks to the golden back cover you could say but both look amazing and you can both open up quite nicely with just one hand you just this. Now again the folio is a little bit smaller from the screen but you have a completely matte non um, glare screen that you can tilt back 180 degrees and for example with the Spectre it's only possible um, up to here which is obviously again a big difference for for example some business people this is just a nice scenario if you stand at the table just see a little bit more um, of the content here um, when you can completely tilt it back but otherwise there's not much difference in terms of battery life but for example also a core M processor in the folio is just a little bit slower not as um, good in performance as the Intel Core i5 or i7 version on the left in the Spectre but what you also have on the left side is actually fan vents you were able to see it before but if you check out the bottom you can see it a little bit better that we have a complete fan system here built on the bottom so it gets a little bit more air while the um, folio is completely fanless so it will be more silent and more maybe compact and better for people that just need to work with a lot of excel sheets and do a little bit of light web browsing or anything else so this was just a really short comparison thank you much for tuning in don't forget to subscribe my name is Paul Hash with the folio g1 and the spectre 13 2016 models till next time peace and again and thank you much for watching